I don't care what anybody says, it is not too hot to wear makeup. You can do a full beautiful makeup look that is sweat proof, transfer proof, oil proof, look gorgeous, look stunning without melting it all off in the heat. My name is Jasmine and welcome or welcome back to my channel. We love all things beauty over here, whether it's hair, makeup, skincare. So if you love beauty as well, make sure you stick around, hit that subscribe button. Let me show you how I got this look. Okay, so first we're going to start with brows. I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hill Brow Freeze. This has been my favorite brow gel for a minute now. Okay, I zoomed you in so that you can see my brows a bit better. I'm going to brush through them completely up down side to side to make sure that they're all the way coated in gel and i like to brush them up and then i use like the flat end of the brush to just flatten them out again just making sure my brows are completely coated and using the flat side to press them down and then i'm also going to kind of shape them a little bit so they're not sticking like straight up, you know. And then I'm also just gonna use this um, ABH brow brush. It has a spatula on the end. I'm gonna use that to press them down further so that they don't move. An important step I feel like a lot of people miss is cleaning up the excess brow gel. So I'm just using this Grande Cosmetics Grande Vanish makeup remover and I'm taking it onto a Q-tip like this and I'm just gonna clean around my brows because eyebrow gel tends to get around the skin on my eyebrows and I don't want that to mess up any makeup that I'm gonna put there. Now I'm gonna use my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil to fill in my brows. I just actually ran out of this and started using a new one. I love this brow pencil so much. This is in the shade five. And first I'm gonna start by lining underneath my brows very lightly and then i'm lightly just going to fill them in with a very light hand because i don't want my brows to be too defined for an everyday look but i want them to be neat and filled in And then I'm gonna use a concealer that's close to my skin tone to carve out my brows. This is the Juvia's Place Concealer in the shade 7. And again, I'm only carving it out really to make it look neater, not to like make it super defined and bold. And then using a fluffier concealer brush, I'm just gonna diffuse that concealer out just to blend it in. Again, don't want it to be too defined or bold. I just wanna make sure it's blend it out. I love when I have a good brow day when I'm actually recording it because I feel like that doesn't happen as often. <laughs> Brows are usually going to be sisters not twins so I'm happy with this. So now we are going to prep the skin with primer. If you guys want me to do a full skin prep video with my skincare and stuff I can definitely do that for you as well. But I already have skincare sunscreen on but now I'm going to show you the primers we're going to use. This is the new One Size Oil Sucker Primer. I will say I haven't actually used this yet, but I have complete and utter faith in One Size. Like, I've used their Secure the Blur and the Secure the Sweat, and I loved them, so I already know I'm going to love this. But today we are going to use the Oil Sucker Primer from One Size and the Secure the Sweat. So I'm not somebody that gets super sweaty on my face, but I am somebody that can get pretty oily and you need to know that there are a difference between these two things of course sweat is produced you know when you're hot when you're exerting yourself did you guys see how that instantly mattified my face sorry this is a raw and real reaction i've never used this product before but the way it just completely mattified me was crazy but no matter how hot or cold i it must be whether it's winter whether it's summer i always have oily skin my skin is always producing oils that's just my skin type definitely not as bad as it used to be since i've gotten better with my skincare but wow my forehead is not shiny at all that's crazy i'll do a little on my nose just a little so you want to put this where your skin naturally produces oils for me i know that when i sweat like when I'm hot or when I'm exerting myself, I tend to get sweaty on my nose and on my upper lip. So this is where the secure, the sweat comes in. You wanna use this where 
you tend to sweat. When you get really hot, where do you start to feel the sweat producing? For me, my upper lip is the culprit. 90% of the time and then also I get sweaty on my nose as well. I'm really shocked by the oil sucker though It quite literally did suck all of the oil out of my face super important step for having an even base is Color corrector. I'm gonna use this anywhere. I have any kind of hyperpigmentation I believe I've definitely explained this to you guys in past videos But in case you haven't seen those I'm putting this anywhere. I have darkness or hyperpigmentation by the way This is the Huda Beauty color corrector in the shade papaya and you see how it mostly like blended into my skin to make it look more even and it's not like bright orange if i have any blemishes i'm gonna use my spot concealer this is the nars soft matte complete concealer in the shade deep cacao or dark to cacao this one is pretty close to my skin tone and i'm just gonna cover up any blemishes that i may have like any pimples or anything with this or i'm gonna cover up any dark spots i have as well again this is gonna allow for us to have an even base now for our foundation in the summertime i understand that a lot of y'all probably don't want to wear foundation or want something that's a little bit more lightweight like a skin tint or something i'm gonna do you one better something that's even lighter than a skin tint is this danessa myricks blurring balm powder this is one of one there's nothing like this and i love it so much i'm in the shade 9.5 I'm also going to use this beautiful, gorgeous brush from Danessa Myricks to apply. And the coverage is amazing, but it's still so lightweight. Like, I promise you, no skin tint is lighter than this. Also, this is perfect for the summertime because it does have a cute amount of coverage. It's about light to medium coverage. And usually, I don't like the sound of that. I'm like, girl, I need high coverage. But honestly, if you color correct, you spot conceal, you don't really need a full full coverage foundation to look flawless look at how gorgeous my skin looks like next i'm gonna go in with my cream bronzer i've been loving the julia's place cream bronzer the one i'm using is in the shade espresso it is in a pan like this in the summertime i really like to go in pretty heavily with my bronzer i love to look really sun-kissed and bronzed like it just gives summer so i go in on my cheeks like this just adding plenty of warmth and then I love, love, love a bronzed forehead. So I'm adding a generous amount of bronzer to my forehead as well. Don't be shy with the bronzer, girls. Have fun with it. Go in with plenty of it. It makes you look like you've been to the beach. You've been laying out in the sun, even if you haven't been yet. Like, I haven't yet. <laughs> I even like to go a little bit on my jawline. I don't usually do too much of this. Next is one of my favorite parts, which is blush. I love going in with plenty of blush. And in the summertime, we want to go in with something very vibrant and warm. I love to pull out my red and my orange blushes. Today, I'm wearing like this beautiful like coral top. So I'm actually going to mix a red and an orange blush together, y'all. I've been obsessed with these blush balms from House Labs. They're so, so, so good and show up so well on dark skin and they have so many beautiful colors. Anyway, today I'm going to be using the shades Glassy Watermelon and Glassy Tangelo. So first I'm going to go in with the shade Glassy Watermelon, which is this stunning red shade and i like to go in directly on my brush instead of swiping it onto the face i don't want it to pick up any of the bronzer or the um blurring balm powder that we have on the face i like to coat my brush completely in blush like this and apply it to the cheeks i'm applying the red shade a little bit higher onto my cheekbones and then i'm gonna blend it out into the bronzer as well i also like to go back in with my bronzer brush and just make sure the edges of the blush is blended. Don't be scared of blush either. I love to go in with a lot during the summer. I said during the summer, like I don't always go in with a lot of blush. Ciao. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna go in with the shade Glassy Tangelo. Most black girls love an orange blush in the summertime. How can we not? It looks stunning on us. I'm gonna get a separate brush and I'm going to coat this brush in the blush as well and i'm applying this towards the center of my face and the apple of my cheek this just creates the most beautiful ombre effect i always love mixing multiple blushes together and i think red and orange is the most beautiful combo for the summertime and don't be scared if you think this looks like a lot of blush we still haven't put on our concealer yet everything hasn't been blended yet so you really need to trust the process okay <laughs> i like to also bring this up towards my under eye i love it i love blush so much next i'm going to go in with my concealer i'm using the fashion fair concealer today if you're a black or a brown person you will love fashion fair they cater specifically to black and brown people and if you're not black or brown there are plenty of other concealers you can definitely choose from but for my black and brown girls 
check out Fashion Fair. I don't think these are talked about enough. First, I'm gonna use the shade Hot Java and I'm gonna apply this on the outer edges of my under eye. Honestly, this is a little less concealer than I would usually go for. I do the same placement, but for a full glam look, I like to go in with tons of concealer, but for an everyday summer look, you definitely don't need it too much. I'm gonna go in on my upper lip, down the bridge of my nose, and in the center of my forehead. For my highlight shade, I'm gonna use the shade of Bohemian Chestnut, and I'm gonna apply this to the inner corner of my under eye. I still love to do a bright under eye no matter how natural my makeup is. Um, if I'm doing a natural look, natural, it's going to be bright, so trust me, it's gonna be bright, but maybe not as bright as if I'm doing a full glam look. Something else I like to do to just sharpen up the edges is take a concealer that's close to my skin tone, like the Juvia's Place one, and I like to put it on a flat concealer brush and just clean up my cheekbones. I go from like the end of my sideburn and I go halfway down my cheekbone and bring it down a little bit like that and just blend that out. I just couldn't kind of want to add some definition like I said. And then I'll even go back in with my bronzer brush and tap over it so that it's not too sharp. You see how that's like a little bit more defined? I think this helps from preventing your bronzer to look muddy while still giving your face like a little sculpt. Now I'm going to set my face with my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. And then I'm gonna let this dry down completely. I like doing this because I feel like it helps my makeup last longer in the summer. I really believe in applying setting sprays or finishing sprays in between steps. Okay, now I'm gonna go in and blend out my concealer. For the bigger areas of my face, like my chin, my forehead, my upper lip, I like to use a bigger complexion brush just to make the blending process faster. And then now taking my fluffier foundation, foundation, concealer brush, I'm going to blend out the darker concealer first. And you really wanna make sure you blend along the edges of the concealer first. I think this really allows your blend to be very diffused and flawless, and it prevents harsh lines from forming. I blend this as close to the lighter concealer as possible, and then we're gonna do the darker concealer on the other side first before blending out the lighter concealer. And you see how the concealer is just blending into the blush really flawlessly. I told you to trust me when we applied that much blush. I know it seemed like a lot and I know it looks a little crazy, but by the time you blend out your concealer over it, everything just looks really blended and flawless. I'm gonna take a second concealer brush. This one is from Rare Beauty. And I'm gonna do the same thing where I blend the edges of the lighter concealer first and then move it towards the inner corner of my eye. If you need to, you can go back in with your first concealer brush and just tap along the edges to make sure there's no harsh lines, there's no line of demarcation, anything like that. And then I'm lastly going to blend out the bridge of my nose. I don't blend this out too much because I still want there to be some definition there. I need a water break. One thing about YouTube videos, you're gonna be talking. Okay, now it's time to set our face with powder. I definitely want to make a full in-depth video describing the different types of powders and what they're used for. Um, if you want to see that, definitely let me know. I can make a whole separate video on that. But I always say to use both a pressed and a loose setting powder. I have really been loving the Maybelline Fit Me powder. I was asleep to this. I was asleep to this powder. It is so, so good. Especially under the eye, it is so smooth. So I'm gonna be using the shade 330 Toffee. And I'm getting that on a powder puff. I'm gonna grab my handheld mirror and look into it and see if there are any creases that may have formed from my concealer. Since I see that creases have formed, I'm going to take my brush and lightly blend those creases out, blending upwards. I'm just gonna do one eye at a time. And then I'm gonna take my powder puff and set my under eye like do you have see how smooth that looks blend out any creases that have formed take the powder puff don't look down before you set your under eye and then i'm gonna set with the pressed powder i also like to use this pressed powder above my lip and on my chin i'm also gonna do in the center of my forehead so pretty much everywhere that we applied our 
concealer. I'm also going to take a pressed powder that is the same shade as my skin tone. This is the one size turn up the base foundation powder in the shade deep 2G. And then using a dense powder brush, I'm going to get the powder on the brush and I'm just going to lightly set the rest of my face. I say lightly because I still want my face to have some luminosity. I don't want it to be completely matte. As you can see, there's still like a little bit of a luminous look there because it's summer. I don't want to look too matte and dry, but I do want my makeup to stay in place. I'm also going over my eyebrows and like where I apply concealer around them. So again, as you can see, my base still looks pretty satiny. It doesn't look matte. It still has some luminosity, but I'm set into place. Now I am going to bake. I, as I said, we're not only going to use pressed powder, we're also going to use loose powder. One Size recently came out with three more shades of their loose powder and I love them so much. I love literally all of them. If you have a deep skin tone, you will love this shade Marigold. This is a beautiful bright yellow powder that is great for brightening. I'm using my One Size Powder Puff as well and I'm going into the loose powder, making sure it is smooth by rubbing it out onto my hand until it looks smooth on the puff and then I'm gonna bake my under eye. I also like to do a little bit of a reverse contour on the side of my nose. Baking is really gonna help your makeup look super smooth but it's also going to make sure you don't crease and your makeup stays in place. Again, I said if you have a deep skin tone, this is gonna be a really great brightening shade for you. I know in the packaging and maybe even when you're baking it might look super yellow but trust me when we blend this out it's gonna look stunning. I'm not baking any other areas of my face, but I am going to press the excess loose powder into some other areas that might get oily. And then while I'm baking, I'm going to apply my powder bronzer. The LYS No Limit Matte Bronzer has been my favorite as of late. I'm using the shade Worthy on an angled brush, and I'm just going to reinforce the cream bronzer. Again, I'm not being shy about powder bronzer either because I really like to look very bronzed, very warm in the summer. You don't need to bake for too long at all. I think the time it took to apply my powder bronzer was definitely enough time. So I'm going to take a fluffy tapered powder brush and I am going to blend the powder in. And you see the brightness that this provided. And I'm also going to blend it in with the bronzer so there's no harsh lines. I'm also going to do a quick little nose contour with my powder bronzer. I think I showed you all how I contour my nose before. I like to completely cover my nostrils in bronzer. I don't know that everyone does this. I feel like people get really surprised when they see me do this, but I like to completely cover my nostrils in bronzer and also underneath my nose. Of course, this will depend on your nose shape. I know some people like to highlight this part of their nose to make their nose look more lifted. That's not what I do personally. I'm also going to go along the sides of my nose and then go into my brows or my brow bone I should say, and then I'm going to emphasize the tip. I don't really have a very defined nose bridge, so sometimes makeup can make my nose like literally just blend into my face and look flat, so that's why I really like to do a little nose contour. Next we're gonna do our powder blush. I love powder blush so much. I'm so excited <laughs> as you can see, and we're gonna do the same type of blush combo that we did with the creams. First we're going to use a red, I think NARS Exhibit A is my tea and it matches my shirt really well. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with an angled blush brush and apply this to the upper part of my cheekbones. The thing I love about the NARS blushes as well is that you can really build them up. They're not super punchy and pigmented. Even though the shade is really bright, as you can see, it's if you want it to be a little more subtle, it definitely can be. But for the summertime and just for fun, pack on the blush why not and then we're gonna get an orange blush this is a petition brands need to make more orange powder blushes that are not shimmery why are so many orange powder blushes shimmery i like that from time to time but i want a matte orange powder blush please i'm going into my ajuvia's place the saharan blush palette this one is very old and the orange blush in here is starting to hit pan i'm gonna go into the orange in this palette and i'm gonna apply this closer to the center of my face and I'm going to blend it in with the red blush as well. Beautiful. That's so pretty. And then I'm going back in with a little bit more of the red blush just to blend them together. And then we want the orange blush to blend into the under eye really well. We don't want there to be any line of demarcation 
we don't want any harsh lines so make sure you blend into your under eye don't worry your under eye is not going to turn orange unless you add too much product in order to brighten up my under eye and also to blend the blush into the under eye a little better in order to blend my under eye into the blush the best i'm going to go back in with my pressed powder this one is the same one that we used earlier the maybelline one and i'm taking that on this kosas brush this face detailer brush and i am hitting the inner corner of my under eye as you can see it is brightening it up just a little bit and i'm only applying it to the corner and then afterwards i'm using any excess powder to just blend the blush into the under eye usually again i would go in with like a white powder to brighten up my under eye but this under eye for this everyday summer look doesn't need to be too too bright for some this might be full glam this might be super bright but, but for me this is a little more subdued <laughs> i love wearing highlighter in the summer i love adding a glow to my skin i'm gonna go in with this new patrick ta highlighter duo these are absolutely stunning. This one is in the shade Honey. I'm first going to go in with the powder shade and I'm just going to apply that. Like, how pretty is that? Don't worry, don't be scared. If you just go in and blend, it's not going to be too blinding if you don't want it to be. And then I love how it doesn't leave a weird cast or anything like that. And if you want, you can definitely leave it like this, but I absolutely love the cream highlighters as well. I've never been a cream or liquid highlighter person, but I just love Patrick Ta's method. I'm just gonna go in with the butt end of a beauty sponge and I'm gonna tap into the cream. And it might not look like much on the beauty blender, but watch when I apply. Like, do you see that glow? The first time I applied this, I was literally in shock. Like, wow. The difference between just the powder and the cream in the powder is so crazy. And I like to go all the way up to the temple with this. I know it might look super blinding, but in my opinion, this is a very natural type of glow. It doesn't look like that 2016 streak of highlighter it really looks like it's just my skin that is glowing like this absolutely stunning gorgeous beautiful spectacular like i can't get over it i do love to use just the powder to highlight my nose for my inner corner highlight i personally love a matte inner corner rather than a shimmery one either is fine but i'm actually going to go into my makeup by mario master mattes palette and i'm going to use that nude shade right there and i'm going to use a little eyeshadow brush highlight my inner corner make sure you blend this out really well so that it's not too harsh or anything for my lashes and mascara today i'm going to be using the benefit roller lash and also these juvia's place lashes in the style aziza if you guys would like me to make a video on how to apply false lashes i can definitely make that for you but i'm just gonna apply them and come back today okay friends we're almost done with our makeup now it's time to do lips i love doing my lip combo i have a different one probably every time i do my makeup so today i'm gonna start with makeup by mario's jeff Also, by the way, if my lips look a mess, it's because they are. <laughs> I've applied two different lip combos that I just did not like because it did not match with the makeup look. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this is the one. I still have on the Makeup by Mario Jeff lip liner. I'm going to use the YSL Beauty Love Shine lipstick in the shade 122. This one looks a little bit dark, but let's see how it shows up on me. Yeah. It's really interesting. This is how it looks in the packaging. I guess they look the same, but I thought it was going to be a little darker. But this is perfect, actually. And then I'm going to finish it off with this CoverGirl Yummy Gloss in the shade Sunset Skies. This is the perfect warm brown lip combo that I was looking for to go with like the orange and red blush. To set my face, I'm going to use my favorite combo, the Charlotte Tilbury Setting Spray and the One Size. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys like the video and you like this look as much as I do. I love it, honestly. If you have any questions or if you have any video requests, please leave them in the comments below. Make sure you like this video. It really helps me out. Leave a comment, like I said, and subscribe to my channel and click the post notification bell so you don't miss any time I post a new video. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.